Alright, welcome back. So in the last video we showed you how to remove files from the staging area. In this video we'll show you how to ignore files altogether. The first thing we need to do is create a hidden file called dot get ignore. We'll do that now with the touch command. Touch dot get ignore. Now in C9 you're not going to be able to see this file because it's hidden. So in order to change that we can click on this cogwheel in the top right corner of the left hand menu and click show hidden files. Now the git ignore file is visible to us and we can double click it to open it and edit it. Next, we need to check our git status to see what's being tracked, what's untracked. We can see that both .gitignore and file2.txt from the previous video are untracked. Well, that file2.txt is the one that we removed from the staging area, but I think we want git to exclude the file2.txt file altogether. So let's go ahead and add the name of that file to the .gitignore file and see what happens. File2.txt and we can save. Now that we've saved the gitignore with the name of the file that we wanted to ignore, we can go back and check git status and we can see that git no longer sees file2.txt. It's only aware that there's a .gitignore file and it's currently untracked. So if we wanted to, we could add a couple more files, touch file3.html, uh oh, I made a typo. So we'll use the move command to rename this file, file3.html, and then just after that, file3.html, and you can see that it renamed it here. And we'll add one more file, file4.html. So now, if we do a git status, we can see that we have file3 and file4.html. So let's just repeat the process. Underneath file2.txt on the next line, we'll add file3.html. We'll copy that. On the next line, we'll add file4. Now we'll save the git ignore file, go back into the terminal and check git status again. And we can see that the only thing that is left is the .git ignore file. So git is now ignoring any files that are named file2.txt file3.html and file4.html. Let's go ahead and add everything in the directory, even the hidden files, so that means the dot get ignore as well. Check our status. We can see that get ignore has been added. So now we can do a git commit and type hide files as our commit message. And that is how you ignore files in git. 